Hello and welcome to eBible Fellowship Scripture and Song program. The nature of this program is to take a closer look at one of the hymns that has been written to glorify God. Our next hymn on scripture and song will be Sing to the Lord, Sing His Praise. This hymn is a paraphrase of Psalm 96. It is an exhortation to all to sing and praise God for His majesty and His salvation. The hymn's first stanza says, Sing to the Lord, sing His praise, all ye peoples. New be your song, as new honors ye pay. In a number of places in the Bible, God speaks of his manifestation of salvation as doing a new thing. In Isaiah 43, 19, we read, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The second stanza of the song exhorts us to tell of his wondrous works, tell of his glory. This is what God's people have been called to do. We've gone into the world to proclaim the wondrous works of our Lord. Psalm 26, verses 6 and 7 read, I will wash mine hands in innocency, so will I compass thine altar, O Lord, that I may publish with a voice of thanksgiving and tell of all thy wondrous works. The second stanza of the song says, Tell of his wondrous works, tell of his glory, till through the nations his name is revered. The Bible tells us that God's people would go into the world until the end, preaching the gospel of salvation until it had gone into all the world. We are now at that point in time. God has ended salvation, bringing judgment on the church and the world. His people continued to bring his word for a different purpose, that his sheep may be fed, that is, taught and edified and encouraged until the very end comes. Stanza three of the hymn tells us vain are the heathen gods, idols, and helpless. Whatever is most important to an individual in this life is his God. And we see in this day the plethora of vain things coveted by man today. In Psalm 115 verses 4 to 8, we read, Their idols are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Noses have they, but they smell not. They have hands, but they handle not. Feet have they, but they walk not. Neither speak they through their throat. They that make them are like unto them. So is everyone that trusteth in them. Stanza three of the hymn continues on. God made the heavens and his glory, they tell. The first six verses of Psalm 19 speak of how the glory of God is seen in the very creation. And the psalm starts out, The heavens declare the glory of God. The fourth stanza of the hymn says, Give unto God most high glory and honor. Come with your offerings and humbly draw near. The Israelites offered animals and other goods as sacrifices to the Lord. These offerings were to teach them about their God and his salvation. In 33 AD, What Christ did at Calvary made manifest how their salvation was accomplished, and the New Testament church, being much more enlightened in this, formed and served God for about 2,000 years. Their sacrifices at that point changed. They became spiritual sacrifices of praise and thanksgiving and keeping of God's commandments. 1 Peter 2.5 reads, Ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. The fifth stanza of the hymn tells us again to make all the nations know God reigns forever. And again, this has been the commission of God's people throughout time, although much of the gospel was veiled to Old Testament believers until the manifestation of Christ. The fifth stanza goes on to say, Earth is established as he did decree. In Psalm 24, we read in verse 1 and 2, The earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof, the world, and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas, and established it upon the floods. The sixth stanza of the hymn says, Let heaven and earth be glad. Waves of the ocean, forest and field, exultation express and goes on to speak of how the Lord is coming. 
In the Bible, God ascribes personality to the creation. He says in Isaiah fifty-five twelve, For ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Let us now hear the hymn, Sing to the Lord, Sing His Praise. You've been listening to eBible Fellowship Scripture and Song Program. If you enjoy listening to our programming, we'd like to hear from you. Write to us at eBibleFellowship at Juno.com.